So I just got back from the theater from seeing Super Mario, the movie. And I have to tell you, it was a wonderful surprise. This is my official review, fresh out of the theater, and I don't think I'm gonna have to do very much editing because really, there's not a lot I'll have to edit out. I will avoid spoilers, of course, but I think, I think you're gonna be really pleased. Here we go. Let's start here. There's not a lot fancy about this film, and nor should there be. You just have to kind of flesh out Mario's world, which we're all familiar with. And the story that gets repeated over and over again is the same element of this film. You are going to arrive where you think you're going to go. You're going to have the princess in distress, her kingdom in distress, which you already know. None of what I'm saying is a spoiler. But the way the world is fleshed out is amazing, truly brilliant, lots of quality storytelling, and every character in the film, every main character in the film, well, they're on their own journey. And to be fair, that's perfectly appropriate. We've been introduced to this entire world over generations for a very long time. I would say at least 30 years for most folks. And when you get there, it's very satisfying. The voice acting is top notch, and despite the fact that there are a couple of members of the voice cast I don't really care for, everybody does a great job portraying their characters. And for those of you in fear of the fact that maybe there is some characterization of Peach that you'll be uncomfortable with, I will use the same words as Chris Pratt, although paraphrasing a bit to say, your childhood will remain intact. The only character I think isn't fully fleshed out in this film, unfortunately, is Luigi. But I have a feeling, since we're being introduced to the Nintendo Cinematic Universe, that, uh, well, this is just the beginning for him as well. There's elements of this storytelling that are going to make the folks that are interested in woke agenda items a little uncomfortable which I think explains why we're seeing some very negative reviews from, well, the people you would expect when it comes to a quality family film that doesn't have any politics in it. And it's more than a little bit refreshing. The world is gorgeous, especially if you see it in 3D. I can't even imagine seeing it in IMAX 3D. I think that would be spectacular. And this is also one of those moments that 3D actually works. It works very, very well, in fact. There's multiple levels in this film that, well, make you feel like you're playing the video game in 3D, and some of you have. You're old enough, anyway. And the sheer volume of Easter eggs, the experiences that you've had in this world in various forms, including Mario Kart, are very enjoyable. Once again, I'm going to avoid spoilers, and I'm just going to say, characters, wonderful story, fantastic, and complexity, none at all. So don't go in there expecting it. This is a family film. It's made to be fun, and I have to tell you, it is a lot of fun. The low-level violence in this reminds you of the original Super Mario Brothers game, which means it's really non-existent and shouldn't put anybody off about taking their younger children to see this film. There are no bad words. In fact, it's arguable that there really aren't any bad characters, just bad actions of certain characters. An acceptable thing when you, well, consider the subject matter. And as an older fella in his 50s, I'll say it's even entertaining to adults, especially to fans. And let's face it, Nintendo, and specifically Mario, have been in our lives for almost our entire existence. Not only does this film give me hope for the future of all these upcoming Nintendo projects, it has me really looking forward to owning this on Blu-ray or 4K HD. It also has me looking forward to something else, something that's farther along than we even knew, a Zelda film that's coming along shortly. And if you're lucky, your preview may include another film coming from Illumination that just might be interesting to you. And now, let's get to the rating. This is a solid four-star film for me. That's four out of five stars. 
that's pretty good. On a scale of one to 10, it's an eight. And let me tell you, it's hard to get a lot higher than that, especially now. And again, it's not complicated. It didn't challenge me. There wasn't a whole lot of depth, but that wasn't what I went for. So if that's something that sounds interesting to you, a solid four out of five stars, I think you will enjoy this film. Be warned, you will see some ghosts here. Things will look like there are some woke elements. And I have to say, they aren't woke at all. Princess Peach, while seeming to be somewhat of a take charge gal, isn't really portrayed in that manner. And I think that's the thing a lot of people were worried about when they were seeing the trailer for the first time. Enjoy this adventure because it's a lot of fun and Chris Pratt does a good job and I'm not gonna overpraise the film any more than that. Here on my channel, I do movie reviews all the time, like this one up here. And you're welcome to check out all of them here on the channel and decide whether or not you agree with my opinion, which will also hopefully lead you back here to watch another movie review that I have coming up shortly. And one final thought, once again, do not be afraid to take your family to see this film. If they like Mario, and they like the games in particular, they should like this film as well. Be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, wash your hands, of course, because it's good hygiene. And until next time, bye. Thanks for visiting today. Be sure you're subscribed and hit that for alerts. Yay! Of course, like and share all of the videos that you can as it helps with the algorithm. Have a great day.